Sweet Briar Goes to School by Connor Wilson. When she was born, her mama took one look at her and declared, Isn't she the sweetest thing? Her papa agreed, so they named her after the sweetest thing they could think of, the sweet briar roses growing along the garden hedge. Every night they sang this lullaby, Sweet, sweet briar, our pretty little rose, a fresh of breath air wherever she goes. But sweet briar was a skunk, and she smelt like one too. And as sweet briar grew, so did her aroma. On the first day of school, Mama and Papa couldn't have been prouder. Off you go, little squirt, said Papa. Remember to hold your tail high, said Mama. Sweet Briar did. With her tail straight up, she skipped all the way to school. But when she arrived, all the students ducked under their desk and screamed, Skunk! Miss Chivery flittered and fussed. Oh my, oh my, is that any way to greet a classmate? What's your name, dear? Sweet Briar. Welcome, Sweet Briar. Miss Chivery pointed to her desk. Sit right there. Sweet Briar sat. Everyone scooted as far away as possible. That morning, Miss Chickory asked each student to stand up and say one nice thing about somebody else in class. Sweetbriar pointed to the groundhog in row three. Her fur is the color of the con. I think the cons are beautiful. But no one said anything nice about Sweetbriar. To make matters worse, a lone wolf had been spied wandering in the woods. Recess was inside. The class played ring around the rosy. Sweet Briar found herself alone on the outside of the ring. When Miss Chickory stepped out to clap erasers, her cinnamon possum pinched her nose and said, Pew wee! Ragweed rat chanted, Skunks are rotten, skunks are rotten. Most horrible of all, Wormwood Weevil sneered and sang, Stinky Sweet Briar, she's no rose, and she walked by, plug up your nose. After school, Sweetbriar slumped home, dragging her tail the whole way. She didn't feel sweet, and she definitely didn't feel like a rose. How was school, little squirt? asked Papa. Sweetbriar shrugged. Mama frowned. Do you feel sick? Sweetbriar hated for her parents to worry, so she said, I'm fine, but she hardly ate any dinner and went to bed early. When Mama and Papa started saying, Sweet Sweetbriar, our pretty little Sweetbriar sighed. Not tonight, please. The next day at school, everyone showed up with paper clips in their noses. Miss Chicory was not amused. Neither was Sweetbriar. Later, Miss Chicory passed around letters from the alphabet. She asked each student to recite three words, starting with his or her letter. Sweetbriar got the letter F. She said, F is for feelings, F is for frown, F is for friend. Wormwood got the letter S and said, S is for stump, S is for stitch, S is for smelly. The whole class stared right at Sweetbriar. Only helped a little when Miss Chickory said S is also for sit. Do so now, Wormwood. Once more, because of the wolf, they stayed inside for recess. The class played hide and seek. No one came looking for Sweetbriar. When Miss Chickory stepped into the hall to chat with Mr. Clover, her someone pointed at Sweetbriar and said, Please, play somewhere else. Ragweed shouted, Skunks reek, skunks reek. And Mormon sang a new song. Most horrible of all, the whole class joined in. Stinky Sweetbriar, she's no rose, she smells worse than grizzly toes. Sweetbriar couldn't wait to go home. How was school? asked Mama and Papa. Sweetbriar shrugged. Fine, I guess. But that night, when Papa pretended to be the terrible tickler, Sweetbriar barely even smiled. When Mama offered to tell her favorite bedtime story, Sweetbriar said, Maybe tomorrow. As Sweetbriar lay in bed, she listened to her parents talk outside the door. Something is very wrong, said Papa. She had any trouble fitting in? Mama sighed. Probably. I remember how hard those first few days of school were. Look, 
a skunk perfume can be slightly overbearing to others. We must talk to Miss Chicory. Most certainly, Papa said. But I'm sure Sweetbriar will make friends soon. She's the sweetest thing in the whole world. Sweetbriar whispered. No, I'm not. He was asleep. The next day, Sweetbriar dragged her tail the whole way to school. She scrunched down her desk all morning long. Miss Chickory announced, The whoop hasn't been spotted today. Recess is outside. Everyone cheered. Everyone except Sweetbriar. During recess, Sweetbriar offered her swing to Persimmon. Persimmon pretended not to notice. Bradley dropped his ball, so Sweetbriar tossed it back. Bradley wouldn't touch it, and nobody would teeter totter with Sweetbriar. Most horrible of all, Wormwood shouted, Hey guys, I have a new Sweetbriar song, my funniest yet. He sang, Stinky Sweetbriar, she's no, Oh, ah, help! A wolf snatched up Wormwood right in the middle of his song. Everyone panicked. Everyone except Sweetbriar, who remembered Mama's rule. To keep the wolves and bears away, lift your tail and spray, spray, spray. That's just what Sweetbriar did. She squirted that wolf right between the eyes. The wolf dropped Wormwood and ran into the woods, wailing, Skunk! I've been skunked! Me too, Wormwood whimpered. Miss Chickory ushered the class inside. Wormwood, dear, would you sit by the window? Then Miss Chickory declared, Sweet Briar saved the day. There's no need to worry about woes with her around. We'll make thank you cards to show our appreciation. Everyone did, and every card said something wonderful. Persimmon's card said, Please, let's be pals. Bradley's card said, Skunks are cool, skunks are cool. Wormwood said, I'm sorry for all those stupid stinky songs. Thanks for saving my life. P.S. Meet me after school. Then Miss Chickory presented Sweet Blair with a special gift, a wreath made of sweet briar roses. A lovely aroma filled the room. The whole class took a deep whiff. Sweet briar smelled like a rose. She couldn't wait to show her parents. Very best of all, after school, Wormwood sang a new song. Thanks to her, we're not with bait. Sweet, sweet Briar, she's just great. The whole class joined in, and Sweet Briar held her tail high. The end.